are dead after an explosion at a rail yard rocked Omaha. Tonight we are learning more about the victims and why the former workers believe the company could have prevented their deaths. Nebraska Rail Car Cleaning Services is calling it an accident, but a couple of guys who used to work there claim they tried to alert the company about safety issues. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. The victims, Dallas Folk and Adrian Lepore, died while cleaning a rail car near 2nd and Hickory. A third man working on the tanker survived the explosion. Reporter Kevin Bouton spoke to former employees, blowing the whistle on a slew of safety concerns. Kevin? It was here where these men met, and it was here where they underwent safety training. But now, Two men who once worked with the victims say managers here at Nebraska Rail Car Cleaning Services knew that important safety rules and regulations often went ignored. In 2013, OSHA cited Nebraska Rail Car Cleaning Service for eight safety violations. Former employee Cody Neighbor is not surprised. So I've worked here for a while and I've, I've been whole watch where you're on top of the car and you watch, look down on people inside the car. And I personally watched people smoke inside the cars. I've watched people do all kinds of things they're not supposed to be doing inside the car. When neighbor took his concerns to his supervisor, he says he wasn't taken seriously. I contacted my uh, the manager. I said, hey, you know, this is what's going on in this car. And he his response was, they know what they're doing. They'll be all right. They've worked here longer. Investigators haven't said if the two men killed in the explosion were doing anything against safety regulations. At the time of the accident, OSHA was already investigating other claims of safety violations at Nebraska Rail Car Cleaning Services. In November of 2013, we actually issued citations for confined space entry issues that we found at the site. We also, at the time of this incident, had a current open investigation with the company. Another former employee, Patrick Rogers, says the company typically hires men just out of jail, like him and neighbors. The company fired the men earlier this year. Well, if we were just looking to cause trouble for the company, we'd called OSHA a long time ago. Rogers says he met Adrian Lepore while they were serving time in Douglas County Jail. Adrian was a decent guy. Um, Dallas was a really good guy. He, he always seemed to uh, have a joke or something to joke about work because that's all you can do here is, is, is laugh to keep from crying about the working situation. We reached out to the company and its, and its attorney about the claims made by these men and about that OSHA investigation. It sent us this response. It says in part, quote, our thoughts and prayers are with their families and loved ones. We are working in full cooperation with authorities to discover details about the accident, end quote. In Omaha tonight, Kevin Bouton, KMTV, Action 3 News.